Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day, 2020. I am what I am. So, come along with us, sit back and relax. Grab yourself a green beer. And I'm going to tell you a story. An old Irish folklore story of St. Patrick and the devil. So come along. Let's go here. An old Irish folktale. Will you? St. Patrick and the Devil. In Ireland, there are many folklore stories associated with the devil and his cloven feet. With the Irish being very superstitious, such stories bring a lot of fear into people's homes. This folklore tale dates back to when St. Patrick was traveling in Ireland to help spread Christianity to a nation of pagans. Local people in what is known as today's county of Monaghan often complained of an evil wild black pig that would cause chaos among their properties. The large black pig was described like no other farm pig. It was very large, black, bigger than the night sky, and had wee beady red eyes that no pig should have. The Irish began pagans at this time believed the black pig is an omen of bad luck. He would destroy their farm crops, scare other farm animals, and make loud grunting noises in the dead of the night. People were terrified of him and refused to venture alone outside during the night. Farmers asked local warriors to hunt down this evil pig and kill it before it would cause any more damage. Bands of warriors, the bravest of the brave, searched all over Monaghan for the black pig, but he was nowhere to be found. When St. Patrick arrived in Ireland, he traveled north and made his way into Monaghan, where people came from all over to meet him. They had already reached the people of Monaghan about this great man who arrived in Ireland to tell every, everyone of his powerful God. As everyone sat in a large circle, St. Patrick started teaching them about God. He reached down and plucked the shamrock from the ground and used it to explain the Holy Trinity. Everyone was skeptical about his new God because in their mind... He had done nothing for the people of Ireland. The bravest warriors of Monaghan, who failed to catch the evil pig, stood up and said, Patrick, if your God is so mighty and powerful, have him catch that evil pig of Monaghan. Everyone laughed because they knew nobody could catch that evil pig, including their bravest warrior. Patrick was interested to learn more about this pig, so the warrior told him the stories of what had been happening in the area over the years. And after hearing the tales, St. Patrick knew there was more than this than a simple evil pig. He knew it was a demon on earth, so stood up and said, People, I will catch this evil and banish it from your land forever and walked off into the distance, leaving everyone to talk amongst themselves. As Patrick walked along the stone path, he spotted a creature in a field. It was destroying crops that were all ready for harvest by the farmers. He knew it was the creature everyone described, so he gave chase. And the large black pig was fast. He, run, he ran along the river, but in the wet mud he slipped and fell to his knees, slowing him down, and Patrick stood before the large beast, raised his hook staff in the air, and loudly said the Lord's Prayer. When Patrick arrived back to the village, everyone gathered to hear what happened, and the humble men said, People, you can now sleep easy. Tonight, 
as the evil that tortured this area for years is no more. And everyone looked at each other wondering if they could believe this stranger. Before anyone could ask him a question, he had already continued on his journey north. After a few years, Patrick had visited Monaghan, but there was no sign of evil pigs anywhere in that area. Harvest was plentiful, farm animals were no longer frightened, and everyone lived in peace. People were amazed at what had happened. They started to believe in God and what they were taught about the Holy Trinity. A farmer found a stone in a field with an imprint of a human foot and a cloven hoof. The locals believed that hoof was the markings of the devil and the footprint belonged to Patrick. He was given the name the Devil's Track and is still talked about today. Many people in St. Patrick were... Many people believe that St. Patrick was responsible for driving snakes from Ireland. So there's also such stories as the serpent in the river Shannon and St. Patrick and the killer snakes are, all, are commonly found in other folklore Irish stories. I hope you enjoyed this story and have a safe and blessed St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>